Man, good evening, everybody. Live on the Iona Esports Twitch account, it's Iona Rocket League. Tonight, it's another chapter in what has become a very fierce rivalry as the defending MAC champion, Iona Gales, seek revenge for their defeat at Contenders as they take on the Marist Red Foxes. I am Cameron Woolley, and alongside me is nobody. I'm going to be doing play-by-play -play and color. Just going to be doing the normal commentary tonight. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I am I'm sort of a sports nut. And uh, I guess I, I'm not going to be able to really do a little bit about myself as the players after a little bit of a delay a little bit of a scheduling conflict are just about ready to begin um, both of these teams very good um, Iona obviously um, defending their MAC championship as they look to defend their conference title and we're, it's looking to be a very good game tonight as Marist also very good evidently um, they defeated Iona a couple weeks ago at a big tournament. And the players will be joining momentarily. Chat, everyone is joining up. All right, we are ready to go in game one of this best of five set. The 50-50 ball, won by Iona. Ryan Hu knocking it into the corner. Iona on the offensive attack already as Iona, I'm sure study was demoed as the shot, and not really the shot goes high. Anna's trying to cut in. Tonis the shot. He scores. 21 seconds in. And Marist strikes first. As Tonis just cutting in, going for the shot that just tucked under the crossbar. The Diona down early. 50 50 ball going at it. Iona wins it. But Marist working to take control. Tonis carries it. Zone by and who? Harder holds it. Mass trying to clear. DJ holds the zone. Maybe a shot goes toward the net. It does not. The shot, but it is saved easily by Tones. Now Tones dribbling it through the air into the corner, looking for an opportunity as Hennas holds the zone. Now Sir Stombi trying to take possession and clear it away. This is going to be cleared away. Enaz gets to the ball for DJ. Enaz on our shot, saved by Sir Stondi. He jumps up in the air to get it now. Sir Stondi trying to get it in, does on the attack. DJ trying for the shot and it saves the rebound and it is stopped by X. A slow shot, it was a bit easy to get to. Despite Daniel being awkward. Oh, it's a defensive breakdown! Tone scores! It's 2 0 Marist. A defensive collapse, it seems, from Iona. And it's 2 0. 50 50 ball, one by. But Marist gonna take it back in as the shot saved by Sir Stondi. Marist taking on the pressure already as Stondi shoots it and he scores! Brilliant aerial dribbling. Iona is within one. Seems for Maris, not everyone can get back there on time. They sort of pinched up a bit too much. But a gift that Iona definitely willing to take. 50-50 ball. Goes sideways. Sir Stondi taking it in again. Into the corner. Sir Stondi. 
he can control. DJ dribbling it. X trying to clear it out. Serge Dundee holds his own, plays it off the wall. But Jones beats him there. Ryan Hu trying to center it. Now it's knocked away. Jones the aerial, the shot. Oh, oh, it was deflected. Goes wide. The rebound scores. X on a just a great play by Tones. The aerial on, on the wide open rebound just easily put in by X. And Iona's down by two once again. 50 ball won by Marist. Oh, this could be awkward. Could be trouble. It is. And it's 4 1 Marist. Anna's on a nice finish. And the Gales are down by three. A very large deficit. With the way Marist is playing, it may be insurmountable, but. They're the defending champs for a reason. Let's see how they perform under adversity. Is that shot saved by X? And the wall push between DJ and catch. The other tag there, but Harris DK to get into the Iona zone. Sandy. Like that and us to halfway. And this could be something for Iona. It's not as Ryan Dew tries to play it. Ryan Dew. Deflected away by Tones. A shot by Sir Stagi. Oh, what a save by Tones. He denied him right at the doorstep. He jumped right in. It looked like an open net. It's a shot by Sir Stagi. Another save. Oh, wow. You can't say Iona's not putting on the pressure. But a very eventful sequence. Tries to play it in. Um, around a minute and three quarters left now. A minute 45. Marist in the Iona zone. Tones the shot. Just off the crossbar. The rebound. They score. Tones again. And I tell you, this game can't be going much worse for the else. And Tones I'm trying to take the shot. But now we got to it. Ryan Hu maybe centering it. And oh, they whiff on it. Oh, no, what a save. Wow. As Tones is demoed by Sir Stondi, Ryan Hu can't quite get the shot. A little bit of latency variation. Just over a minute left as the shot. Shot by Ryan. The aerial. Oh, a nice shot, but it's saved by Tone. For Tones. He has been everywhere in this game one. He's in our defensive place or stunned. Another shot by Tones, a brilliant corner shot. I believe that is his fifth goal of the game. Far down. Just an unbelievable dominant performance from the Maris Red Foxes. As the five said, as he's all looking like he's going to touch the ground. It is, and Marist, the Red Foxes go up to nothing. A very dominant performance by...
the Marist Red Foxes here in game one as they take a one to nothing series lead. Just a very, very dominant performance. Tones scoring, I'm sorry, I thought he scored five goals. He ended up scoring four. And Tones leading the team in saves as well. Just a very, just a very, very, that couldn't go worse for the Gales, really. Although, it is a best of five for a reason, and I'm sure in their championship season, they did deal with a fair bit of adversity. As game two is about to begin, Iona, as in regards to what they need to change, um, just about everything. I mean, just, they got dominated as they are looking to tie this series as the jump ball is a 50 50. There's not the But, Maris plays it well as Ryan gets the essential save. And the shot saved by DJ. Nice defensive play, and here comes Ayala the other way. Ryan Hu fires it just wide. He had a wide open net. As Ryan Hu demos and us a brief man advantage for the Gale says, oh, a defensive break as Surstandi knocking it away, and Iona looking to clear it. DJ, he does. As Iona puts it back into the marathon. X, however, firing it down. Gets in the way of it. X trying to play the ball. DJ misses it. And now, but here comes Iona. Back the other way. The shot by Sir Standy. He scores! Sir Standy. Iona has their first lead of the series. A simple shot, but a nice shot from a tougher angle as Iona is up one to nothing. 50-50 ball, Marist wins it. That's the shot by Enaz, blocked away by Ryan. Tones, putting the ball back into the zone. Tones, the guy who scored four goals in the MVP in the last game as this shot goes all the way down and in! DJ from way downtown! It took a deflection, a couple of deflections off Marist's defenders. As Iona is up 2-0, they needed a break like that. As the 50-50 ball goes into Iona's zone, but X going at it, and that shot goes wide. DJ made the save, the rebound goes off the crossbar. The other rebound, they score. Enos, it's a one goal game, the lead's cut in half. Just a crazy tight game two so far. Marist, a great response to a defensive breakdown as the 50-50 ball won by Maris. This game could be tied soon, but nope. Sir Stondi, one of the goal scorers for Iona, and the shot saved by Tones. The shot by Ryan, who saved by Enos. I don't know if that would have gone in or not, but the game counter was a save. As Tones trying to dribble it. As Ryan who demoed, he was Iona's goalie, but it is cleared away. And they go into Marathon, but X looking to clear it out, having a bit of trouble. Iona could capitalize as DJ takes it into the corner, but Marist clears it away. But DJ making a nice play to hold the zone. Ryan who the shot saved by Tones. Dondi holding the zone. X knocking the way. DJ holding the zone. Iona having some nice offensive pressure here. Shot into the corner. Could be something. Sir Stondi shot saved by X. No rebound. It's loose. Sir Stondi keeping it in. But X is going to clear and he's going to shoot it. Saved by DJ. Oh, what a save. 
And now Sirstandi going back the other way. Fires it wide. DJ the rebound. No. Ryan who? He put in the zone. And Oz dribbling it away. Clears it. Iona holds the zone. Looking for another scoring chance. Just under two to go on the shot. Saved by X. A nice save by Marist. So you try to keep this out of one goal game and try to tie it as Sir Stondi holds the zone. DJ taking the pass, firing it. What a simple enough save for X. Iona still holding the zone as Sir Stondi is demoed. Iona shorthanded in the zone as the shot going all the way down. It's Sir Stondi. As he respawns, he makes the save. DJ clearing it out. Iona looking for a counterattack as X goes into the zone, but it's played away by Sir Stondi. Stondi, the zone looking for the shot. No, off the crossbar. The rebound. No. As Iona looking to seemingly put this away, make it a two goal game. Greatly increase their chances of winning. Into the corner now. Ryan Hu holding the zone. And Oz gonna take it in. But DJ gonna get there first. DJ, the aerial dribbling. No, but oh, it almost deflected him, but he got just enough of it. Sir Stondi, the shot, this could be trouble. No, wouldn't go. And Oz to save the rebound, they score. Ryan Hu makes it a two goal game once again with 34 seconds to go on the clock. And Iona looks like they're about to tie this series. Although, knock on wood here, still plenty of game left, 34 seconds left. Tones wins the 50-50 ball, Ryan Hu clearing it away. Nice aerial dribbling to put it back into the zone. And then, oh, a center, the shot save, rebound, oh, too sharp of an angle. DJ the shot! Off scores, Sir Stondi, and that'll do it. A nice finish by Sir Stondi as Iona up three with 15 seconds remaining, and it looks like they're about to tie this series at one. 50-50 ball, won by Maris though. The shot by Anast and he's gonna take the shot. Ryan Newell will try to clear it away. Sir Stondi. Iona does get it out as this game is just about over. And as soon as it touches the ground, it's over and it is over. <laughs> Iona ties the series at one. A much, much needed rebound game from the Gales after a after a punch in the mouth in game one to tie this series of one. Just a great performance. Two goals by Sir Stondi. Um, and one goal apiece from DJ and Ryan Hu. The sole goal scorer on Marist was Anaz. The save leader for Iona is DJ with three. And the shot leader on Iona, Sir Stondi, obviously as he scored the most goals. So we get ready for a very, very pivotal game three in this series. Both of these teams evenly matched so far. Marist playing a great game in game one. Then Iona responding with a very strong performance in game two. As we get ready for game three, whoever wins this will have a great advantage as they'll be one one away from winning the set. But Iona into the offensive zone, keeping up the offensive pressure from game two. Sir Stondi trying to clear it away, but Tones, four goals in game one, doing a nice job. But DJ, nobody's back for Marist yet, but there was not enough room to take a clean shot as everyone from Marist gets back. DJ trying for the sharp angle aerial. Oh, then the shot here goes wide as it's deflected off Sir Stondi. He made a nice play on it. Now Marist in the offensive zone. Deep as the shot goes wide as X is demoed by DJ. 
Marist, short-handed here. The shot by Tones, not really a shot. Maybe a pass in the shot by X goes wide. I know for a fact that was a shot. Sir Stondi dribbling it, though he didn't have a lot of boost. Ryan Hu trying to get it, but Tones plays it away. And oh, Sir Stondi is demoed. A very unfortunate event for Iona as they tried to go on the offensive attack. But now Iona still in the offensive zone as Sir Stondi respawns, gets it in deep. But Tones is there to make the play defensively as he ends up behind the play as DJ, the shot goes wide. And no, never mind, they score. DJ, one nothing Gales. Off the feed from Sir Stondi. Tones ended up deflecting it in himself. I couldn't really tell from the angle whether it would be wide or not, but. But Iona's up one to nothing here as ODJ demoed by X. As the shot by Stondi goes wide. Could have been big there, Ryan who? X taking it into the zone for Marist and deflected wide. Turns out it was a save by Stondi. Stondi trying to play it away, trying to clear it. They do, but X willing to respond by putting it back into the zone, but DJ makes a nice aerial play on it. But now Tones, oh my goodness, could be trouble. Nope, goes high. X holding the zone, nice offensive pressure from Marist. As X demos DJ and the shot goes high. Tones the rebound though, he scores. Tones, who has been a constant threat in this series, finds a loose ball and finishes up the play, cleans it up and ties the game at one. 50-50 ball, tense game here. Oh my goodness, it's a broken down play, they score! Sir Stondi off the, off the, the kickoff. Wow! Everybody just kind of pitched too high. Nobody was in net. And Iona's up two to one. Just like that, wow. And let's see, um, they're not gonna score off the kickoff this time. However, Stondi gonna take a shot, but it's gonna be nicely played by X. Tones looking for something, nice aerial dribble. Looking for it. Iona, nice defensive play on it, but could be trouble here. As X trying to keep it in the zone, Tones trying to take a shot, but it's blocked by Ryan Hill. EJ going for it, he can't, but X is going to take it in, a centering try. Shot went wide, Tones got there a bit too late, but here's Sir Stondi going into the zone, DJ. Iona trying to get some offensive pressure established. The shot by Tones, no. We're on though, even if that was a shot. But this is definitely a shot, this one, Ryan, who gets to it? The shot by X, no, goes just wide. Ryan, who? Leveling it into the zone for Iona. And he's back there again, as Tones can't get to it. This could be trouble. X, however, getting to it defensively. Here's X, trying to hold the zone, the shot by Tones. Oh, a nice play, but a save by Stondi. He really should have got to that. It was a slow shot. Easy enough to play as Ryan, who trying to establish control, but Stondi gonna fire it in. DJ with a head of steam, no. Well, it turns out Stondi took a shot there and then it's saved at least according to the game. As that shot goes wide, and DJ ends up getting to it, but the rebound by Anas. This could be trouble here. X trying to get to it, he can't. As DJ, oh, a nice pass, no! A save by Tones. That would have been a brilliant play. An aerial one-timer of sorts as, oh, the shot goes all the way down, saved by Ryan Hu. Well, he got caught a bit, lacking there. As another save by Iona. 40 remaining on the clock. This game going by real quick. Low scoring is the shot. Goes high, the rebound, no! Saved by Stondi. As this one into the Marist zone. 30 remaining now, the shot just goes wide. 
As here's Standy from the center and try, he scores! Sir Standy makes the two goal game with 22 seconds remaining. A nice pass and a nice finish. Just fitted under the crossbar. Bit of a change up shot. Defender couldn't get there. As with 22 seconds remaining, Iona wins the 50 50 ball with the shot by Tones. Yeah, it's not going anywhere close to the net as the shot. Also, not really going to go anywhere close, but Standy will take it off the crossbar. Rebound um, defended by Maris as we are going to wrap up game three as the shot attempt for Maris didn't go well. Iona, one win away from taking this series as they take a two to one series lead. A solid performance from the Gales here in game three as they take a two to one series lead. If they, again, if they win this next game, they are going to take the set over Marist. I'm a very, very eventful game despite um, the, the fact that there was the least goals in a game in this series. Sir Standy with two, DJ with one. Sir Standy also the leader in saves. Um, Sir Standy and Ryan Hu each with one assist. Sir Standy with six shots. The sole goal scorer for Marist Tones, who has been a machine in this series. And the sole assist goes to Enaz with each player on Marist having one save. And Tones, the shot leader for the Red Foxes as I keep forgetting to ready up. I'm doing too much talking. <laughs> as we get ready for game four, Marist with their backs to the wall. The Gales one win away from taking this. As we are off the jump ball, won by Iona. Looking to establish some offensive pressure early, but Anas doing the same for Maris. Ryan, who a clear attempt, didn't go very well, but Standy going to take it away. Oh, a nice aerial attempt, but blocked away. Anas the shot, and he scores. Nobody was back there for the Gales. As it is one, nothing. Maris just, I don't, I don't know what was happening back there. They didn't have anybody in goal, and they paid the price severely as they are down early. Just 16 seconds in, the one-on-one -on -one ball, the 50-50 ball goes to the Gales as they try to equalize the score here. Sir Standy holding the zone, but Tone's going to clear it away. X trying to make it 2 nothing, and Tone's setting up a pass, but that was a ride. The shot by Ryan. Who? Oh, the shot from X. This could be trouble. No, a nice save by DJ. Went through the air to get that one. Ryan, who going for it? Nobody really back there, but Tones does eventually make the play on the ball. Sir Standy passing it back to DJ, who will fire it into the Iona zone as Ryan, who the shot. No, what a save! A collaborative effort by Tones and X to keep the score at one nothing. As Ryan Hu holds the zone. Ryan Hu into the corner. The Maris does get to it. DJ trying to center it. But they cleared away pretty easily. The shot by Sir Snandi stopped by X. Well positioned there. As all oh, this one could be trouble and they score X. A brilliant aerial dribble i mean look at this just hopped it over ryan who sir standy whiffed on it and just a brilliant touch shot as marist is up two to nothing iona in a deep hole here 50 50 ball goes to iona but oh the shot by x stopped by dj ryan who Dumping it in. DJ trying to dribble it. Couldn't get any contact with the ball. As this one, oh my goodness. Golden opportunity and they catch in. DJ, and it's a one goal game. DJ just going through the air. Ryan who was also looking for a shot. 
I don't know if he was faking to try to bait the defender, but regardless, however it happened, it's a one goal game. 50-50 ball goes to Marist. Ryan Hu clearing it away. Oh man, oh the shot goes high, but Sustandi ties it! 14 seconds apart. Stondi ties the game for the Gales. A nice shot just to the right of Tones. And this is a whole new ball game. Tie game at 255 remaining. 50-50 ball goes to Marist. Sir Stondi defends the shot from Tones. DJ getting to it. Ariel, DJ, DJ, no. Stondi trying to make a play on it. DJ, DJ, no save by X. Marist trying to go on the counter offensive here and they are gonna get something going but not if DJ had anything to say about it and he did. Oh, the shot by Tone saved by Ryan Hu. Ariel dribbling from Anas. Anas saved by Stondi. Ryan Hu going for it here. And ooh, that ball just a little too hot for Iona to handle. Sir Stondi just under two minutes off. Stondi, shot saved by X. My goodness, what a save to keep this game tied. 145 remaining here in game four in regulation. The shot by Tones, saved by Stondi. Oh, wow, what a save. And this one goes all the way down. Nobody's back there. DJ scores. Iona takes the lead. Here in game four, DJ from way downtown. Nobody was back there for Maris. They were pitching. They were just pitching back there. And they paid the price. Just a snipe from DJ. Now here's Stondi making the save. Maris still has ample time to tie this game, but DJ going to clear it away. Stondi trying to set up something. Retaining relative control of the ball, needs a boost though. Now here's Tones going at it, and us. Just over a minute remaining now. X, the shot, goes wide, but the rebound, they score! Tones, tie game, 102 to go! A brilliant answer. Sir Stondi was sort of caught behind the play a bit. But regardless, this game is tied. Marist wins another 50-50 ball and a shot save! Stondi, nice play there. And oh, the shot and he got to it. DJ made the save. Iona looking for a counter attack. DJ, 45 remaining in this game. Stondi taking it in. X trying to gain control, trying to clear it out, but the shot scores! Ryan Hu, 37 remaining. Blow for blow in this one. An eventful game for a brilliant shot. Tones just barely couldn't get to it. And it's four to three. Marist with less time. Iona wins the 50-50 ball. This one in the corner. But Anas taking control here. This could be something. Oh, he whiffed on it. And Stondi couldn't quite take the shot there as the defender was on him. 20 remaining now. Nice defensive play by DJ. DJ holding the zone as Ryan Hu takes the shot. Tones might have saved the series. As Enos comes in. Oh, Stani, a nice defensive play. Iona needs to get back. Six, five, shot goes wide. Four, three, it's out of the zone. Iona is going to possibly win the set. They need to have it hit the ground. It hits the ground. Game over. Series over. Iona wins the series three to one. Just a great performance. Brilliant rebounds 
from the defending champs. And a thrilling game four, just my goodness. Is, I mean, wow. There was energy, man. She's just back and forth, back and forth. Nobody could really pull ahead as opposed to the first few games where it was really one team in control the entire time. But game four, just a thriller. Both of these teams evenly matched. Just a great... Great set. Marist came out dominating in game one. But Iona just... Pff, wow. Just... <laughs> Nobody else is in the lobby. I'm just gonna... Leave to the main menu. But wow. What a game in game four. Just back and forth action. But then... A go-ahead goal with... 34 seconds left by Ryan who just really pulled it away for the Gales as, as they take sweet, sweet revenge on the team who knocked them out of the Contenders Tournament only a couple weeks ago. A statement win for the Gales. Say that they're still here. We're actually going to be bringing in one of the... All right, we are going to be bringing in Ryan Hu for an in-studio video, or in-studio interview, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my uh, head producer is just bringing in a camera. I was just thinking of the word. Videos, we are getting ready for a... for a post-game interview of a thrilling win. for the Gales over the Red Foxes. <laughs> I mean, all I can say is just, wow. I mean, this is my first time calling a Rocket League game for the A-Team. Just electrifying. Just an electrifying game for. Just, I mean, yeah, that's all I can really say. Just wow. <laughs> all right, let's look at what everyone's saying this, saying in chat. Very hyped up. From Jay Compy 23 Iona, really different for real, for real. Yeah, we are different. I mean, they were the champions for a reason. This is my interview, Mike. Yeah, okay, good. I got it right. <laughs> I'm not. Be in frame here? Yeah. Yeah, we All can right, both so be in frame. This is a bit tough. Hold on. Can I lower my chair so we're even? <laughs> I mean, I don't really. Not trying to be a dick. I was I just mean, saying. Like, no, so no, it's fine. I don't, the care. Photo. I don't care. I don't care. All right, go ahead. Anyway, so we are here with Ryan Hu, the man who scored the um, series winning goal with um, just uh, over 30 seconds rating. I believe 34 just was the there. time on the clock. Um, You guys got. I don't mean to say if you guys got beat up in game one. Um, what was the and and this was like after you, you guys got knocked out at contenders by Marist. So what was really the thought process like in the room, you know, sort of in between 
game one and games two, three, and four? Like, what was really the adjustment that you believe that you guys made that really made you guys dominate games two and three and then win a very close back-and-forth game four? Um, well, I think the, the fact of the matter is we had a late start. So we started, and there was a bit of confusion in what time our game was, whether it was 7 or 8 o'clock. So when eight, uh, 7 o'clock rolled around and we were just getting there to start warming up, uh, we were not at all prepared for the game. We weren't locked in. We weren't warmed up. We hadn't played a single game of Rock League today. And so when we show up there, we finally get in. DJ, our captain, was sitting in the car stuck in traffic at 7 o'clock. So it was <laughs> a whole mess. So the first game that we played today, if game one was the first game of Rock League our whole team played as a whole. So we were in no shape or form warmed up in any way. We were not prepared uh, for this game because we didn't have any training pack, any practice games, nothing. So we got in, and game one was really our warm-up, and that's why you saw us lose one to six. Six to one, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a tough one. But we bounced back right away. Once we were locked in, that's when game two came around. We were, we were comfortable. We had our touches down, and that's when we took over. Yeah, because yeah, I was wondering about that because – like, I was sitting there, and I was thinking, I'm like, wow. Dude, that game one, like, these are two completely different teams. But, yeah, that sort of explains it. There was that really um, confusing thing with the scheduling, and you guys weren't dialed in. And, uh, no, I kind of get that. <laughs> like, yeah. like, when I play video games, it sort of takes a couple of games for me to sort of get back into things. Mm -hmm. So, so um, no, how does it feel to – to sort of get your revenge on these guys for for taking you in in that tournament a couple weeks ago. Well, to be honest, we don't even really see it as revenge, per se, because we played against this team last year, obviously, uh, throughout the MAC, as well as in the MAC championship in Atlantic City, we played them uh, in the semifinals. And during the regular season, we swept them 3-0. And everyone was like, oh, yeah, that's crazy, because the Ma uh, Maris is a very solid team. They're a very strong competition for Iona and Rocket League. So when we swept them during the regular season, it was like, what are you guys talking about? Like, we just, we smoked them, like it's done. And they're like, no, nah, they're a real team. And then we played them in Atlantic City, and once again, we, we three won them, but still, just similar to today. But still, it was like, I, I still don't see the problem. And then when we played them in the Contender Series a few weeks ago, that's when it really started to hit that are like, wow, these guys are serious competition. These guys can really play. They have rock solid rotations, and their mechanics are very strong. Their passing, is undeniable. I mean, they were, they had a really good infield passing today, but once you learn to cut that out, we we kind of took took the advantage and stepped up. Yeah, there were a, I noticed a couple of defensive lapses there. I mean, that there was that goal off that that kickoff, mm -hmm. like you just like that was sort of just a crazy bounce. But you did take advantage of the opportunities that you had. Mm -hmm. Just a again, just a great series from. You great series from the entire team. I mean, this this is my first time calling Rocket League. <laughs> like, sort of. I mean, I called the B team mm -hmm. on Monday, but this is this is my first time really calling the A team. So this was just just incredible, man. I mean, you guys, hey, you guys are the champs for a reason. Hey, we try our best, <laughs> yeah. but uh, we heard great things about your casting. So I unfortunately wasn't able to witness the B team's uh, casting audio. So I was just watching the dry footage without audio. So, uh, but I was heard from Jake and DJ that you are very solid in casting. So we're very happy to have you on the Iona team. Hey, I'm happy to happy to watch you guys. Hey, hey watch you guys every day. Yeah, <laughs> you, you are putting on a show, man. <laughs> so I mean, it was great having you, man. Hey, thank you. Yeah, good stuff out there, man. Appreciate it. Nine o'clock. Uh, All right. Nice and don't go anywhere. Join us back at nine o'clock as Iona's B team goes up against. A -team. A -team. Oh, Iona's A team, really? No, Iona's A team goes up against Maris' B team. So. We'll be back in so hour. we'll be back in around an hour.